what's good we're back in this thing today we're at the split mind studio in west hollywood i just got done shooting some behind the scenes footage for the split mind team they were kind of teaching kid Leroy's brother austin how to produce so i just took some photos with the nishika n8000 and it has like four camera lenses so basically it takes four different photos at one time so you it kind of has a different angle and you're able to if you stitch them together bounce back and forth so that's what we're going to be going over you can get a similar look using a camera and just holding on the shutter and moving if you're like steady and kind of focus on the subject it definitely works better with the nishika camera uh, if you guys want like a tutorial on how to do it with a normal camera or even your iphone you can do it with your iphone pretty easily uh let me know but we're just gonna be going over how to stitch them together if you wanted to replicate it without a tutorial basically real quick all you have to do is hold down the shutter on your camera move side to side. I use four photos because that's what the Nishika has, but you can use as many as you want. So just first off, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did in Lightroom. Basically just added some contrast. I'm not gonna go over the color in super depth. Uh, just wanted to show that this is what the original looked like. And that's what it looked like after I edited the film photo that got scanned over it into Lightroom. And then we're gonna be going into Premiere and just importing those four photos. So just clicking on all these. This is gonna be a really simple tutorial that's gonna be real quick I just wanted to do something after this long session that we had so what I like doing is just turning off all the layers besides one and then pushing command R to bring up these rulers and then dragging down a ruler horizontally and vertically and just lining up a center point so right now I'm gonna focus on my nose the tip of my nose and what I'm gonna do is just move each photo so that it's in line with the nose right at that point there we are there we are and then i've seen people do it multiple ways you can go ahead and go to window timeline and make it bounce back and forth in photoshop and do the full effect in photoshop what i like to do is just file and save this as a psd and then open that psd up in premiere i think it's easier and you can just tweak it a little bit more in my opinion so i'm just going to name this something that i can remember i'm just going to do tutorial yeah just name it whatever and then you can go ahead and open up the full PSD file in Premiere. And once it stops loading, what you want to do is just click individual layers. And then I just turn off that black layer that was already there. And it will just import the four photos in uh, each as their own thing. And I'm just going to drag the first one on. I like making each frame three frames long and then just dragging it. Make sure you do it in order. So if they're numbered, then just do seven i'm gonna do eight one two three nine one one two three and then the tenth one one two three and then what i do is i just repeat it so it, it starts with the first second and third and then i'm just gonna hold alt duplicate the third one over the second one over and then the first one over so that's gonna have that boomerang effect where it goes through all the frames stays on this one for only one and then goes back and then what I can do is just duplicate everything after this and then as you can see it just goes back and forth I'm just gonna do that for right now because uh, if you post on Instagram or something it's just gonna loop anyways and then I just highlight all these go to nest click OK and then that way you can crop out the black bars that are here it's a pretty simple way to do it and just scale it to wherever you want if you guys want to see how to do it on your iPhone or maybe on another camera that's not the Nishika, I think these things are like $150 on eBay. That's where I got mine. Came with the camera and then a flash. The flash ended up, actually ended up breaking, so I'm just using this external one, but it works the same. You know, keys dance in the background there. But if you're watching this video now, I posted this photo on Instagram, so go over to my Instagram, follow me, and check out that photo. If you guys want some of the behind-the-scenes footage from the day... <laughs> if you guys want some... <laughs> Fuck. If you guys want some behind the scenes footage from the session tonight, let me know. I have a little bit of a cook up that they were doing, so that'd be cool to share on my YouTube channel. Quinn's hitting the glass right now, it's a little bit distracting. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is go over to BrianDelMata.com and check out my texture pack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. <laughs> wait, 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 stay there. I gotta show them. I'm dealing with this kid. This is what he's doing to me. Right, let's get it. We're done. It's a wrap.